Peace. This brother had Tim I'm on my lunch break. So if anybody out there watching, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can't be tripping on me because this is my time. I'm chilling, even though I'm sitting here eating with the kids. Um, I just wanted to say great Uji, great Ujima day, right? Ujima, collective um, cooperative economics. And I kind of broke down that concept this morning. But I wanted to look a little bit more into it. And I was looking through the player's pyramid once again. This is the old copy. Y'all get the updated copy. You go to giamijourney.com. Um, if you are a member of Giami and you send me an email, let me know that you like our uh, you liked our Giami page and you um, subscribe to one of the YouTube channels. I gladly send you a PDF. All right, but in here, one of the quotes once again is from the African Open Institute. Line. I'm telling you, this is a major book. You need to get it. Right? It says. Put wisdom to work and evil will flee you, say the knowledge holders. Respect for the law yields virtue. Disrespect yields limitation. And I think because we are not learning the laws of economics, the laws of how resources flow, and since we're not respecting them in our lives, in our communities, in our organizations, we are running up against limitation rather than virtues. You know what I'm saying? We're, we have to yield to the limitations because we're not respecting the law. Um, last night I spoke about another quote from the book where we talk about thought energy. We are building our pyramids in thought energy and we're creating our lives with our thought energy. And the things that our ancestors gave us to guide this thought energy is principles. Principles. Right? What am I asking you to do? I'm asking you to take your days and start applying your principles to those days, one at a time. Right? You eat an elephant one day at a time. We might can't master the whole in Guza Saba. We might can't reflect on the whole in Guza Saba every day or your principle system with whatever one you use. But we can focus on one per day. When we start applying the principles to our life, we start directing our thought energy. We start putting limits upon ourselves. Now, let me explain that title, um, Limits Upon Ourselves. I titled my book, Limits, um, Freedom Within Limitations. And I have found that one of the kids is trying to peep over here to see what I'm doing. What I have found <coughs> is that when you start putting limitations on yourself, you really start experiencing freedom. And what do I mean? I'm not talking about the typical world limitations. When you start living a principle system, it puts limits on what you do and what you cannot do. And within that area, you find freedom. Have you ever found um, when you go to the store and you're looking for something and you don't know exactly what you're looking for, you end up being in the store spending money that you don't have to get something that you really didn't need. But when you go to the store with a principle in a sense, when you go to a store with a focus, with an idea of exactly what it is that you want or what you need, you're capable to bring it out without any problems. You're able to find it without any problems. Life is very much the same way, right? By us putting putting these principles to work in our lives, what we do is we put up a fence around our life, not only to keep others out, but providing us with an area in which we could seek mastery. After we have mastered that, then we can extend that border, extend that fence. You know what I'm saying? Move it out just a little bit farther. But we got to start with the baby steps first. This is Brother Tim, and I'm saying, yo, this is my lunchtime. I'm going to call it, I think, something like lunch for the mind or something. You know what I'm saying? Just thoughts. But this is Brother Tim, and I'm out. Peace.